Hello, welcome to Product One customer facing videos where we give you tips and tricks to help you with your day to day work. Alright, today we are going to be looking at starting and stopping Windchill correctly. Um, as Windchill administrator or maybe IT that is tasked with um, administrating Windchill, there are some maintenance tasks that you'll be expected to do. One such task will be stopping and starting Windchill. Um, so I'm just going to help you with how you go about that. First and foremost, let us just get a bit of an understanding of the windshield setup. So what are the major components of windshield? Windshield is comprised of the windshield service, it's windshield services rather, which is the server monitor and the method servers. So the server monitors make sure that the method servers or background method servers, if you have set it up that way, are running as they should, are connected to the right connections. And then the method servers and the background method server obviously will run your connections as well as your processes. Then you've got Apache, which is your web server. Um, I like to say it's the one that provides the internet for your environment. And then you'll have your directory service, uh, that is your LDAP. Uh, I just note that PTC no longer bundles Windchill directory server with its product releases and they advise that you make sure that your LDAP is V3 compliant so you can either use maybe OpenDJ as I have here or the Windchill directory servers from the older product releases and or any other V3 compliant LDAP system. And lastly, you've got your database, uh, which can either be your SQL and your or your Oracle. So basically how these things run is that you've got your database or Oracle, which will contain your data in air quotes there. Um, as we do know that the content files will stay in the vault and this one will carry your um, metadata. And then you've got your directory service, which is your authentication. So now when you try to get onto Windchill, the directory service will say, hey, we recognize this person trying to log in. You can give them a go ahead. And then your Apache, which will be the environment. And then the method server or background method server, which will be your, your runners, basically. So they will be the one that will be um, making sure that those connections are running. And therefore, you are able to do what needs to be done on Windchill. So like for a better word. All right. So what is that order that which you start up? I think the thing to note is that you make sure that your windshield service is not running when that one is off because then it won't function as well. But also you won't run the risk of having some corruption on your system. And then these other two in between, they're interchangeable. But in any case, we're going to start with the windshield service. Uh, just know that my system here is set up as with all of my um, with all of my services running as Windows services. So we're going to start with Windchill over there. And obviously, you just need to know that when you are doing these maintenance procedures, obviously, you just need to communicate with the end users so that they are at least aware what is happening. And then come the web server. Uh, also, if you have a better understanding of your services, then you know how much time you will need and obviously that will take some time of, of of working with the system so that this you just get that better understanding and lastly will be my database which will be the sql both the two will be done all right so in a normal typical environment when you are restarting windchill you don't need to stop um, sql um, sometimes the sql is part of um, other systems as well and it's running on a different server you don't really need to I just decided to go this way so that should you need to then you know that the process is more or less the same now starting it up is going from back to front um, again it's basically from the database services then the directory services which is now in my open DJ over there and then after that is your Apache and then finally we end up with what windshield and obviously depending on the size of your server uh, the amount of time that it takes for windshield to come up and running I would just advise though that as it's coming up and running you just sort of have a look through the logs so that should anything be wrong you're able to pick that up a whole lot sooner and you're able to take action so that people are back online as soon as possible 
uh, right and then now that's the last one there just like that you are able to restart and start Rachel again um, but you don't have to do it manually you can actually automate this process and you can automate by using batch files so fortunately for me um, all of my services are running as Windows services so I have the luxury of using the net stop net start commands but obviously if you are CD etc running from um, windshield shell or the DOS then the commands will be slightly different um, all right but here is mine stop windshield directory server apache apache again seems it needs to be stopped twice and then windshield sql and yeah you can set up for the stop obviously it's stop and for start it's obviously start you can combine the two starting with the stop there and then the start or you have one that calls for the stop bet and then the start bet and you should be good to go all right uh, that should be it thank you